Okay, so if you need any more information on the build of this truck, if you go to bondsmog, B-O-N-S-M-O-G dot com, and then go to our current projects page, you can see the entire build of this. There's four pages, and you can be able to see all the photos of how this was put together. This is my 1980 Unimod 416 Doka. It has gone a complete restoration where we started with the truck. All the only parts we use from the original truck is the frame, the cab, the bed star, the axle housings, and the steps. Everything else has been either replaced with a new or a rebuilt used part. So we'll start at the beginning. I've been restoring Unimogs for almost 20 years now. And this is my own personal truck. So anytime I got a new part, it went on here. I saved all parts that were new when I bought out parts inventory or something, and it went onto this truck because I didn't plan on selling it. But things have changed in life, and so now it's up for sale. So let's start with a quick walk around. Um, cab was completely stripped down to bare metal, and custom grill was installed into it. It's got um, fresh paint. Frame was stripped right down to bare metal, sandblasted, epoxy primer, painted, and everything else has been completely redone on the car or truck. Uh, windshield brand new, windows in the back are all brand new, all new seals, all new weather stripping throughout. It has, like I say, most of the parts have been changed on it are new. We spent over $50,000 in just new parts alone. The motor in it is a 352A, which had zero runtime on it, so essentially a brand new motor that we used to put into it. It has uh, about 220 horsepower, which is double in stock. The transmission in it is a factory rebuilt 16 speed tranny. It's the latest design that would fit in these trucks. Uh, it gives you 16 forwards, eight reverses. All the gearing in the axles is brand new, with all new bearings, new seals. Final ratio is 4.93, giving a top speed of close to 80 miles an hour. But it has a, the 16 speed transmission, has an underdrive that's air activated, so knocks it down 22% no matter what gear you're in. So it gives you the opportunity to go slow, but then also you can keep up with highway traffic. Uh, so we'll do a quick walk around, show you all the parts and what's new, what's good. All the uh, lights are all new, all the emblems are new. All right, so let's start underneath the hood for the walk around. Truck has hydraulics in it, so it's got the, the front and rear winches are both hydraulics. There are quick connects for the front winch, so you can, if you want to put another implement on there. It also has uh, hydraulics in the rear for both the three-way dump box and for the rear winch. And again, quick connects back there, so if you wanted to put different implements on it, you can. The motor, like I say, was brand new when we started it. It has a custom radiator with an extra core in it to keep everything nice and cool. Uh, Inside of here is a, I think it's 1200 watt, or 1500, I'm not sure, I can't remember, watt uh, block heater. Truck has air conditioning. Uh, all the electronics are brand new. We want complete new factory wiring harness, brand new brake booster, brand new master cylinder, all in, for both the clutch and the, the brakes, all new copper nickel alloy brake lines. All new hoses. Like I said, if it uh, if we were going to put it together, we put all new parts in it. So everything in it is basically new. All the hydraulic lines are all new. Uh, alternator is a 95 amp alternator, so we got enough power to run everything. And you can kind of see the texture in here, on there, back over here, all back in here, all behind the thing. That's the uh, truck bed liner we sprayed the whole inside to quiet it down 
and then it was painted after when the truck was painted it was painted on a rotisserie so we can paint the bottom and the inside first then paint the the rest of the truck so same with the frame everything was done on a rotisserie so, uh, the axle and the whole front suspension everything is all new so it's basically like a new truck custom grill that a buddy of mine was so generous to make for me. Cut that out laser -y. I said I wanted one with little Mercedes stars, and that's what he made for me. So um, he made three of them, two for me for my two 416s, and one for his 416, and that's all he was gonna make. So we'll come around to the side. Uh, custom hubcaps that we manufacture to have the, the thing solid inside and then we put the mercedes trunk emblems in for the logos uh, all new shocks as well as the suspension brand new battery box another part that we may have manufactured that we make air tank is brand new all the airlines are brand new and it's all the regulators and everything that go with that three-way dump box this box is uh, been completely sandblasted and rebuilt. The butt, uh, sides will drop down. And will tilt. And you can take them right off if you just slide it like this. You can take them right off. And put them right back on. As simple as that. Line them back up and you're done. Come back around this side to the back. It has a uh, hydraulic winch into the back. It has this tow bar on the back, which is easily removed. You pull the four pins out, and you can pop that right off. I don't know what it's rated for. It's something I made. I've had probably 7,500 pounds behind it. If you really want to tow something heavy, this one I think is rated for 22 tons. So that's the one that if you're going to tow something heavy, that's the way to, to go. Uh, got lights for a trailer. Got a shovel in the back. Uh, you know what else? Uh, again, the emblem. This was all painted nice and black. This was brand new from Mercedes. I don't know what happened to the paint, but it is what it is. Lights are all new. Uh, these are the pins that you put in for, through a dump box. You mount the pins where you're on them right now. They're on this side, so when it goes up, it would dump this way. You want to dump it on the back, put this pin, put it on the other side of the back, it'll dump that way. Um, you come around here. Here is your... AC condenser is back in here, as well as the radiator for the intercooler. It has an air to water intercooler. These are all new too as well. This is a alcohol for to keep the lines from freezing. That's the air regulator. And the water dripping down right there coming out is from the air conditioning, because I have the air conditioning on to drive over. Fuel tank is brand new, as well as the uh, sending unit and you can see all the hardware is that holds this thing together is all new i don't know how much i spent on hardware but it was a lot so all the hard okay so all the door handles are brand new and three of them have matching locks for keys i didn't have any more than the three but one key unlocks these this door this door and the driver's door the passenger, the back door on the driver's side, I can reach my hand bound to unlock it and lock it, so I didn't do that one. But uh, all the mechanisms inside, the regulators, and all the stuff inside is all new. All the hardware is all new that holds the thing together. There is no rust in this truck at all. Uh, the door skins have all been replaced with door skins that we manufacture. So any rust that was on the truck has been cut out removed and then everything else has been replaced and so it's basically like new okay here we are inside um, all the switches are brand new 
even the blinker, the, the hydraulic controls are brand new. This gauge, the tack and the speedo are brand new. This is a rebuilt gauge. Um, these gauges up here are all brand new. We soundproof the cab. It's got, uh, it's kind of like Dynamat. It's a little thicker material. I think it's called Rockville is the, the manufacturer of it. That's down first. Then there's a insulating heavy felt with foam, or I'm sorry, foil on that. We taped all the seams on that. And then we've got this um, short indoor outdoor rubber backed carpeting over the whole thing. And we actually did it all the, the top of the, uh, behind the instrument cluster here, all the, the top of the, all the firewall, everything's been covered with carpeting to make it as quiet as possible. Cause if you've ever been in a Unimog that isn't soundproof, you're wearing earmuffs. This one, we have a stereo in it and you can hear it. There's speakers, four speakers, two up front, two in the back. We also have air conditioning ducts that run along the sides on both sides. And there's four vents there, and then there's vents underneath the seat. The air conditioning unit we used also puts out heat. It's also a heater as well. So there's a heat control that comes out to there. And then your heater control here for the back heat is right there. And then underneath the seat, hard to see, you can't see it probably, are uh, the switches for the air conditioning and the fans. Again, the 16-speed transmission, which is nice because a lot of trucks, if you have a 20-speed in the Unimog, there's uh, five shift levers, I believe. If you got uh, PTOs and both PTOs in there, you got seven. With this one, you only get two shift levers. This one is high, low, reverse, and then your basic 4H pattern is a, like a four-speed with an air-activated underdrive. So you step on the clutch, you push that down, you hear it click, you probably may have just heard it now, and you then let out the clutch. You just lowered your gear ratio 22%. Pull up, you're back into high, into out of the underdrive into high range. So um, this has been all soundproofed as well. The doghouse cover, there's a heavy rubber mat to quiet that down, keep all the heat down. Uh, brand new sun visors. Headliner, everything's been wrapped with vinyl along the sides and along the metal inside. Yeah. And that should pretty much take to the inside. Um, seats have all been reupholstered. Re okay, the seat flips up in the back. Here is your AC and heater box, the extra one. And then there's storage down underneath here for tools and I keep just a bunch of tools and a bunch of other stuff, uh, straps and stuff like that for doing any recovery if we need to. But that's handy there. And there's actually more leg room in the backs than there is in the fronts with these things. But the beauty of being a four-door cab, you're able to move the seats way back. So I'm six foot tall. I have no problems clearing anything. I can sit with my legs straight in the passenger seat. Uh, we also raised the headroom, so there's more headroom in here. There was rust along the outside edges or the drip edge, which is a real common problem with the four-door cabs. So when we redid the cab, I figured I've got to add some metal to replace what I took off. I might as well add two more inches. So we raised the roof up two more inches. I've had a friend of mine who's six seven drive the truck and he says I fit in here fine. So there is plenty of headroom in here. Okay, so if you need any more information on the build of this truck, if you go to bondsmog, V O N S M O G dot com and then go to our current projects page, you can see the entire build of this. There's four pages and you can be able to see all the photos of how this was put together.